Okay, so let's get started. Um, hi everyone, my name is Maya Schoenbach and I am a clinical psychologist in training and I work here um, both at SkinPick and at TripStop. Um, and today we're gonna talk about how our programs uh, work, how SkinPick works, how TripStop works. Um, the webinar will be about 20 minutes. Um, and I really encourage you guys to ask questions uh, in the chat, if you type them in throughout the presentation, and then we'll take some time at the end of the presentation to go over them. Um, so yeah, please write in your questions in the chat throughout whenever you uh, think of them. And uh, there will be a promo code at the end of the pr presentation to subscribe to our program. So definitely encourage you to stick around for that. So let's get started. Okay, so first I really wanna talk about the, the overarching structure of our program. So both the SkinPick and TrickStop programs are fully customizable. They're online platforms. And essentially they teach you about skin picking or hair pulling. Um, they include various evidence-based techniques that really are going to help you cope with your skin picking or your hair pulling. And a very important aspect of our programs is the regular communication that you'll have with your therapist. So through this communication, which is um, online via chat, um, you'll be able to uh, discuss your specific needs with your therapist and they'll tailor and customize the program according to your individual needs. Another thing uh, that's unique to our program is that we provide virtual support groups um, for our subscribers that are led by really skilled therapists. And really these support groups allow you to engage with a community of, of people that are following the same struggles that, that you are. Um, so it's a really, really uh, great way to gain support. Uh, these support groups happen multiple times a month at different times throughout the day. So it really is so anyone around the world can join, they're online. Um, and again, we really encourage our members to join because it's a great resource for extra support. And then another important thing about our program is that we have a personal program as well as a parent program. So the personal program is for people aged 15 and older. And then we have a parent program for people aged 14 and under that we suggest that the parents um, join. Um, and essentially what happens in the parent program is that it includes like a lot of different age um, appropriate modifications to, to the various evidence-based techniques. Um, and it also provides a lot of uh, suggestions on how to better communicate with a child uh, who's struggling with skin picking or with hair pulling. Okay, so now let's do a deeper dive into the sessions. So this is, what you can see here is the main structure of every session. So it starts out with session content. So this really involves learning all about skin picking or hair pulling. It teaches you how to be aware of your symptoms, about triggers in your setting, and a lot of information, which we call psychoeducation, about the disorder itself. Another important thing is exercises. So these happen throughout the session. Um, so they'll involve practicing various techniques that are are taught in the session content. Um, so for example, there's things like breathing techniques, there's things like self-monitoring, which is critical for, for coping with skin picking or hair pulling. Um, and really these exercises um, are essential for you to make concrete steps towards uh, healing. Um, also throughout the session, the exercises also include answering questions that will really help you process um, and reflect on, on the session content. And then your therapist, they review your answers and respond to you to your specific answers. And that basically provides a, a jump off point to communicate and to correspond with your therapist surrounding the specific session content, which is great in the exercises. Um, and then finally, uh, you have assignments. So each uh, session, you'll be given assignments that are really the practical tools for you to practice. Um, so that you can, first of all, deepen your insights and also just create meaningful change. That's our, our goal here with the program. 
Um, and there's kind of two different types of assignments. So the, the, the main ones are the predefined ones in, uh, that are tied to each session, but you'll also get additional ones according to your therapist. So they're specific to your unique needs. Um, if your therapist uh, thinks it's appropriate, then they can assign you additional assignments. Um, and really I wanna st stress that your therapist is here to help you on your own specific journey. So they're really flexible. Again, if you don't hesitate to ask them any questions that you have, if you want to take extra time practicing something, if you heard about something, read about a specific technique, definitely talk to your therapist about that. They're very flexible. They're specialized in this. We'll talk about the therapist shortly. Um, but I do want to emphasize that really taking together all these three key components, this really, both Skin Pick and Trick Stop are very, very intense programs. Um, and often people, before they start, they think, oh, let me rush through it and kind of do it as quickly as possible so I can heal as quickly as possible. But really, we suggest taking the time to try out all the various techniques, really take the time to digest the information, give the assignments the time they require, and really communicate with your therapist as much as possible, because that's really how you can get the most long-lasting and most meaningful change. Oh, so in terms now uh, about the therapist. So here at uh, Skin Pick and Trick Stop, we only employ therapists that have uh, know how to treat skin picking and hair pulling, or what we call BFRBs or body focused repetitive behaviors. So not only do the therapists all have the knowledge to treat these disorders, but they also have a lot of prior experience. And we really insist on them having this experience because it's such a specialized program and these are such specific um, um, disorders. So we really emphasize this, this um, criteria for all of our therapists. Um, and so, like I said, the communication with your therapist, it's done uh, in writing. So via text on the uh, or on your computer or if you're using the app on your phone. Um, and typically therapists respond within 24 hours on weekdays. Um, so like I said, it can be done um, by messenger and you can get email notifications about, about the messages. Um, and really it's, it's helpful because some clients find it even more helpful than having face-to-face -face, um, sessions with a therapist because you don't have to worry about forgetting what was said. Maybe if there's specific homework or things like that, you'll, ha you'll have it there that you can go back and reread it. Um, and we even have reports of clients have even taken um, screenshots of, of their specific conversations, uh, like key conversations with therapists. And then they've set it as like their background on their phone or on their computer. So really to have constant reminder of, of the, the discussion or the specific technique or specific phrases, uh, things like that. Um, so that can really help as a, a tool to help uh, with the therapy. Um, and like I said, really your therapist is here to help customize the program to suit your own needs. So again, if, if you hear something, if you wanna explore some certain theories or ideas, really def we suggest communicating that to, to our therapist. They're really open and they're flexible. Um, and like I said, that every therapist has mastered all of the, the CBT-based techniques that we use in our program. But again, they all, they're people, they all bring something different to the table. So they might have different training, different backgrounds, different uh, other additional specializations. So um, their approaches are, are bound to be enriched by these other uh, techniques and skills. So again, it's, it's, um, it's very individual. So we, like I said, we use evidence-based techniques because that really gives us a program that works well for most people. But again, like I said, we're willing to explore more than just these evidence-based techniques if a specific um, client is interested in that. The first part of our program is really based on something called habit reversal training or HRT. And the second part of the program is based on acceptance and commitment therapy or ACT. And I'll talk a little bit more about these specific types of um, therapies shortly. But um, if you really want to find out more about uh, HRT and ACT, we have specific dedicated webinars uh, on these that are recorded and you can find them on our, our YouTube page. 
Um, so really keep it, that in mind if you think you need a little bit more knowledge in those areas, maybe before you want to try out the program. Okay, so HRT. So habit reversal training is really the first treatment that was explicitly designed for BFRBs or for body-focused repetitive behaviors, um, which includes skin picking and hair pulling. So really it's, as of now, currently the fir recommended first line of treatment, and it really is the, the most studied mod modality right now, most researched. Um, it's a, a type of uh, behavioral form of therapy, and it's designed to address a wide variety of repetitive behaviors or the BFRBs. So first of all, skin picking and hair pulling, but also things like nail biting, thumb sucking, ticks, uh, things like that. And really the key elements that HRT is based upon, um, it involves building, building awareness of the picking or the pulling, um, it's based on identifying triggers and essentially finding replacement habits for these behaviors. And studies show us that it really works uh, in reducing the behavioral, the behavior itself. So either the picking or the pulling, but really it's, it's only the start of our journey. Um, so we say that building awareness really is key. Um, and that's a big part of habit reversal training. And, and we do say that we want people to take their time, go through this element of our program because it, it, building awareness really helps you long term to know in advance when to curb your urges, when building awareness of your triggers, of your environment, of certain situations that ultimately cause, lead you to pick or pull. Um, and so we really stress this part of uh, building awareness. Um, but again, like I said, it's really kind of only the start of your journey. And then that's where uh, ACT or acceptance and commitment therapy comes in. So ACT it's, was developed by Stephen Hayes um, in the early eighties. And it's a, a form of third wave CBT, so or cognitive behavioral therapy. And it really emphasizes um, acceptance, it's values-based um, and it focuses a lot on mindfulness techniques. So basically in HRT, you really deal with the behavior um, and here you'll focus more on dealing with, with the urges and all the, the difficult emotions that sometimes lead you to pick or to pull. Um, so act is kind of like a, like a, another step up or another, another stage in your, your chain of treatment here. Um, and in terms of, uh, exper experiential avoidance, that's really a key core concept of act. So experiential avoidance, it's kind of like a, a type of defense mechanism, we can say. Um, so it really is kind of like a group of behaviors um, that include the picking or pulling that really help, help you cope with an intense experience by kind of, kind of channeling the energy of your emotion into the picking or the pulling without actually having to, to reflect on the emotion or to process it. So you can kind of best see experiential avoidance when people say they're feeling totally calm but really they're still picking or they're still pulling um and so that's kind of evidence of of the fact that it's picking or pulling can be a, an effective strategy they're calm but it's not very it's not healthy it's an unhealthy strategy so technically but in this sense you're you're avoiding the experience of the emotion and so with act we really try and work on that and deal with that aspect. Okay, so once you complete the core treatment of the program, so basically the HRT and the ACT sessions, um, your therapist might assign you additional sessions. Uh, so that really can help you continue to, to explore uh, aspects of skin picking or of hair pulling that are really specifically relevant to you. So this can help you go deeper and, and further explore the causes of, of skin picking or of hair pulling, and maybe to develop also more advanced coping strategies. So really depending on your individual needs and also what your therapist thinks is most beneficial for you, um, you're gonna learn additional techniques. So 
Uh, they could be for meditation, um, for emotion regulation. You can work on boundary setting. And there's other important aspects that are introduced in these additional sessions as well. So I'm sure you're interested to know whether this program works. So I'm happy to say that after three weeks, over 70% of our clients, both in skin pick and in trick stop, experience symptom reduction. It's huge. And within three months, clients have experienced more than 40% of a reduction in symptom intensity. And that's a huge reduction when you look at research out there. Um, and additionally, over 90% of the clients who finish the main four modules of our programs of skin pick and trick stop, uh, over 90% of them recommend it to other users. Now, it's really important for me to say that this is based, um, this data is based on those who have completed the program. So not those that maybe dropped out in the middle or, or things like that. So it, this is where the data is taken. Okay, so in terms of payment, the program is subscription-based. So the cost is $260 every four weeks, and your subscription renews until you cancel it. It's important for me to say. So you might think, wow, that's expensive, but when you compare this cost to traditional therapy, you're looking at around $600 a month versus here you get $260. So really this is less than the price of an of on average of two sessions with a therapist face to face. And in our program, you have daily communication with your therapist. And your therapist is someone who specifically knows how to deal with the problems of skin picking and hair pulling. That's really hard to find. I don't know if you've already tried looking there. It's really hard to find somebody that's experienced, knowledgeable. So this is really important for us. And uh, here you can see we have a $100 discount for the first month of subscription. So you can use the promo code PROWEB100 and I'll have it again at the end of our uh, presentation. So in terms of free resources, we have free resources for subscribers and also for non-subscribers. We really encourage everyone to use them. So if you are hesitating, debating whether to sign up or not, you can always start with our free resources. So first of all, we have a free app that provides um, education, um, self-assessment, self-monitoring. So in terms of education, it kind of gives you a more basic um, initial peek into the world of skin picking and hair pulling. So uh, it'll t give you a better understanding of, of the disorder, of the causes, triggers, associated conditions, and, and the impact both physically and emotionally. Um, and you can start to kind of learn some preliminary things about some evidence-based treatment strategies uh, that are can be kind of like the first steps towards healing that you can take on your own without a therapist. Um, in terms of the self-assessment, you can really start by taking this assessment and really measuring the severity of your skin picking or hair pulling. And this can serve as, as a baseline <clears throat> to really measure your progress. And then if you choose to subscribe later to our program, you can really use this to tailor your treatment plan and according to the, the severity of it. And then, like I said, a really important um, element to treating skin picking and hair pulling is uh, self-monitoring. So you monitor the, the picking or pulling episodes, their duration, their intensity, and you monitor them over time. So really you just take out your phone, if you uh, download our app on your phone and you just record this. And then over time, you'll become more aware of your, your specific picking or pulling patterns. That's really crucial in terms of overcoming this disorder and treating it. Because then you can take, if, again, if you subscribe to our program, you can take this information and then really First of all, discuss it with your therapist and really use this to tailor the program if you learn certain things from these patterns. So self-monitoring is very crucial. So additionally, we have, addition, in addition to our free app, we have monthly webinars, um, not just this one. We have uh, uh, ones that are 
on information, on latest research based on um, in, in topics uh, related to skin picking and hair pulling. Um, and sometimes uh, those that participate uh, get to vote live for the topic. So often our audience gets to determine the, top, the content, which is cool. Um, and finally, I really suggest that you join our skinpick.com uh, or trickstop.com Facebook groups. They're really are out there for everyone to, to uh, join. Um, and they really are a great opportunity for, for community and uh, to find a center of information and, and treatment information, treatment options. So these are our free resources. The app is free to download. So I'd like to uh, open the floor now for some questions. Um, and if you have any uh, clinical questions that you want uh, to, me to address, uh, maybe one-on-one, -on -one, you can send an email to me at maya at helpingminds.com. Um, and if you have any questions about uh, customer support, you can message them directly here or their emails. And um, like I said, here is the $100 discount uh, for your first month of uh, subscription. So you can use the promo code PROWEB100. Um, and I'm gonna keep the recording going just so that we have them uh, for future reference, the questions, but I'll keep it anonymous. I won't say anyone's name. Okay, so the first question is, are your members assigned a specific therapist throughout the program or do they vary from session to session? That's a great question. It's one therapist throughout the program. So really people do build relationships throughout the, the sessions. Um, and it's really, uh, really important to us. That aspect too, great question. Um, another question is how long roughly does it take to complete the main program? I know it will be different for different people and depending how fast you go through it. You answered it yourself. It really is so variable. Some people uh, can take a week per session. Some people take longer. Um, I, it's, it's so individual. And I think that's also the, the benefit of this is that you have a therapist with you the whole step, every step of the way, every 24 hours you can get responses. Um, so yeah, you, maybe you and your therapist, well, your therapist will be, say, need to slow it down. Um, maybe your therapist will be there and, and if you finish it quickly, if you're, there, if you're taking some time, maybe your therapist can suggest speeding it up. It's, it's very, very individual. So the next question is, how does the parent program work for parents? I have a 14 year old trickster. Would we join the sessions together with her? So that's a great question. So um, because your kid is 14, you can do the parent program. We suggest for 14 and under. Um, and in that, uh, the parent program, uh, the parent does the, undergoes the session. Um, you can, and in the parent program, yeah, so in the parent program, it's you're going through the sessions and then there's a specific um, assignments that are for your child um, or things to do with your child, but it really is targeted for the parents and uh, for them to help communicate things better and ask questions to their child. Um, and because she's on the like borderline between the ages, maybe she turns 15 soon, um, depending on her literacy level or her emotional maturity. Um, I don't know why I'm saying she. <laughs> oh, you said her. <laughs> um, then uh, maybe she could uh, join the, the adult program for herself. Um, I think that would have to be um, up to your discretion. I think it's really important to, you, you know your child the best um, in terms of how um, mature or, or ready she would be to um, undergo therapy herself, especially if it's via text. But great question. The next question was, 
what is the time commitment daily, weekly? Again, great question. Um, like I said, it's so individual. There are sessions um, that can take longer. Uh, we, we suggest that you communicate as frequently as possible with your therapist. So even if you're done reading the session, um, you can still be communicating with your therapist uh, daily. Um, so it's really hard to say that because it's su such an individual program. Um, but I hope that answers your question somehow. Are there more questions? So the next question was, is there a trial? So we don't have a trial, but like I said, we have um, a free app that you can use, like I said here. Um, and that really does provide um, some of the basic session content um, and self-assessment tool and self-monitoring tool. So that is for free. And then if you look at that, there's no therapist that's uh, with you there. But if you, uh, you can take a look, download our, if you just look on your app store for skin pick or trick stop, um, then you uh, can maybe use that to get a feel of what our program would be like. Like I said, it's obviously very different because therapist is a very integral part, um, but this could maybe give you a feel. The next the next question is, how often can I contact my assigned therapist? How is the therapist assigned? So great question. So the therapist is assigned initially based off of um, location because really we want time zones to be as agreeable as possible. Um, and like I said, we have people all over the world. It's the beauty of uh, the internet. Um, you can contact your assigned therapist as frequently as you want. Like I said, they have... Um, on weekdays, they, they tend to answer within 24 hours, but then on weekends, um, they typically don't answer. By typically, I mean, they won't answer. Um, but you can always feel free to write them on a weekend, and then on uh, Monday morning, they'll look at them, I'm sure, and they'll get back to you or as soon as possible on when they return to work. Another, the next question is, how do you manage the time zones? I'm now eight hours ahead of you, for instance. Do you have therapists in Europe? Great question. Yes, we do. I'm actually also uh, seven hours ahead of uh, the Eastern Standard Time. Um, so yeah, we have therapists in Europe. We have therapists um, all over the world. So really, it is that's how therapists are matched um, initially, um, and that's uh, important. The next question is, when could I cancel the subscription in case I want to do it? Um, I believe you can cancel it within the four weeks and get potentially even get credited for the partial time. Um, that is a good question to ask customer support because I don't know 100% how it would be prorated. Um, I would ask customer support, but you can cancel it at any time for sure. Um, and I believe they do prorate the subscription according to um, how long you have been in it. The next question, great question. How do you know if this is, or do you know if this is accepted through uh, HSA or insurance? Um, from uh, our experience, it's not covered by insurance um, because it is a tax-based program. So it is uh, self-paying. Um, yes, that's my understanding. Great question. How is it determined when you're finished or better? So I think that's, first of all, the beauty of uh, assessment tests, of monitoring. You'll be able to tell yourself. You'll be able to know uh, when your intensity, your duration, when the distress you feel, when that all reduces. That's, I think, the beauty of all of this. 
um, when you're finished the program, you, people can take, uh, like I said, varying time. So I, it is really important to discuss it with your therapist, um, but you'll have a really good sense of it in of your, by yourself by having monitoring and noticing your patterns and how they improve over time. So that's the beauty of this program. Are there any more questions? We have time for a few more. Okay, the next question is, how long will the promo code be available until? Um, I don't believe there is a time restraint on this promo code. Uh, it's for uh, people that attended this webinar, so um, feel free to use it uh, this month, next month, if you need some time to think about it, a great question. Okay, um, uh, the next question is, how do we reach out to you if we have further questions later on? Um, I'll go back to the slide with my email. You can see that here. Um, so you can write down my email, maya at helpingminds.com. That's me personally. Um, and also if you have any clinical questions, uh, you can ask there. Um, the other, uh, this is our email for customer support. So that, that's a, a good resource. The next question is, is it $260 plus taxes? That's actually a great question. I'm not sure about the taxes. Um, I would email the customer support. So one of the two of support at skinpick.com or support at trickstop.com. Um, that's a great question. Um, yeah, I'll actually look into that also. I'm going to write to myself. Um, um, so you can email them or email me and... Um, uh, we can get back to you. Next question is what's the onboarding process and time frame? So really um, you it's all online, like I said, um, and it happens very, very quickly. It depends if you're signing up on a weekend, but typically within uh, 24 to 48 hours, uh, we try and set someone up with a, a therapist. Uh, so the, the onboarding process is very quick um, and it's um, you go to our website uh, skinpickortrickstop.com and you click on subscribe and you just start uh, by really filling out some preliminary questionnaires which are uh, important to jumpstart the process. The next question is when would the next webinar be and what will the topic be? So we have another webinar uh, in terms of uh, research and, and content uh, next week, uh, same time, I believe, also on um, Monday. And the topic is on uh, technology. I forget exactly what it's called, but something about technology and uh, BFRB, so skin, pick and tricks, uh, skin picking and trichotillomania um, technologies for the treatment. The next question is, will you share a recording of the session? Yes, it will be um, shared. It will be on our YouTube page um, and it will be on our website, uh, skinpickortrickstop.com. The next question is, will we receive an email about the next webinar? Yes, if you sign up for it, uh, you will. The webinar, the so sign up for the webinar, they're free. The sign up is like where you can sign up for this one on our website. You can find that. Are there any more questions? Okay, well, if there's no more questions, feel free to email me. Um, 
if you have any more lingering questions, if you think about it, um, or to our customer support. Um, and thank you all for attending.